Hey all, Mark Madden here, your Soul for Hope Realtor with the Madden team at Berkshire Hathaway Commonwealth Real Estate, bringing you episode 16, I don't know the numbers, of the Watertown Homes Daily Update. With no new listings on the market today on Monday, what I want to talk today was about the village condominiums right here in Watertown. Look at the past six months of market data and compare that to 10 years ago to see how much their value has improved over the course of the last 10 years, but also just to look at the last six months to let you see how things have been selling and for the prices they've been selling and the range of prices that you can find in that, in that complex. And the reason is if you're a seller, I want you to know how much your potential village condominium is worth. And if you're a buyer, I want you to be able to see where the value ranges are there. So what you can get in on the lower end with, might need some fixing compared to the fully finished unit that you can just move right in and be set with all your furniture. Uh, so let's dig in. Uh, first, what I want to do is look at, in looking at the, let's see here. All right, so in looking at the last six months of data, we had 11 condominiums that have sold in the village condominiums. Of those, they range in price from 382500 all the way up to 435 and everywhere in, in between. All of these units are two bedrooms and at least one bath. That's how they were all made. They were made to be you know, five to six rooms, two bedrooms, one full bath, almost always having the exact same layout. Roughly you know, 1293 to 1311 on the square footage, all coming with one assigned parking space. Some of them do have outdoor patio space, whereas all do not. Some of them have the finished basement space, whereas all could be finished, but not all have been finished at this point. And then there's a variety of updates within the unit. So some have had their kitchens updated and some have had their bathrooms updated. And that is what is going to drive and change price. Another factor that we find here is the age of the systems and also the age of the windows in the complex. Um, every unit owner is responsible to replace their own windows. And there's only a certain number of companies that unit owners can utilize to replace their windows because they want to keep a uniformity uh, throughout the complex. So looking at these 11 listings, you know, so we have 106 Pierce Road sold on September 11th of this year, it was listed for $399.9, wound up selling for $382.500. Um, it was on the market for 29 days before accepting an offer, and this is the lowest sales price in the past six months. Uh, so what I want to do now is kind of peek through some of the photos, some of the more details of this property. So you can see down here, they have it listed as 874 square feet. So that means it's only counting the square footage that's above grade. So there's no finished basement in this unit. So it's really everything you see on the first floor and up on the second floor where the two bedrooms and one bath is. And you have your living room, dining room, and kitchen on the first floor. As you can see here, it comes with the one car parking space. Uh, you know, this one, they admitted right in the listing sheet, needed some work to be, you know, or elbow grease as they called it, uh, in order to get up to date. You know, but you can see they have older counters, older cabinets, you know, they have the white appliances, which is fine. Um, you know, all the units have these beautiful hardwood floors. You know, they don't show a picture of the, oh, there it is. Just kidding. They have, a lot of these have, still have the older tile inside their bathrooms upstairs. Um, this one is a green and black, but more often than not, you see the pink and black or the blue and black. Um, but it's that common theme that ran in those like 50s, 60s. Um, so you get really used to seeing those in these com complexes and that's why when somebody has updated them it's such a value add because people are so used to seeing those same exact bathrooms that once somebody has changed it over people re realize that somebody has put some money into improving their unit. Um, let's just go through these photos real quick. So this one sold for three eighty two five hundred. dollars you know, Still a pretty decent price for a two bedroom that needs work. Let's look at the highest price in the last six months which was two grant av. And this one was listed for $424.9, sold for $435. It actually canceled the open house because it sold prior to the first open house, which is you know, quite a feat uh, in the market that we're coming out of. This one is listed as $1,293 on the square footage, and you can see here, including the finished basement space, one assigned parking space. Uh, but then, you know, look at the, the photos of this one as well. So, much different appeal when you look at the photos of this one. One, it's furnished, so you can actually see how you could potentially live in this unit. There is no patio for this particular unit, but the hardwood floors are great. 
They've updated the kitchen. Uh, it's a nice bright white kitchen bringing in lots of light. It shows really nicely. Uh, then a few more photos. You know, the hardwood floors on the first floor. Upstairs you can see the bedroom, ceiling fans, you know, nicely painted with uh, neutral colors. The bathroom in this one had been fully updated, which is very rare to see. They actually removed the bathtub in this unit, put in a stand-up shower with a little bit of extra storage, in, which I actually have not seen many of in this complex, so it was an interesting thing. Obviously it was a selling feature for someone. The glass door even, you can see it kind of right here alongside glass door to you know, keep the water in. Nice photo of the exterior showing that it is a side corner unit, so you actually have scroll back up. This is another selling feature of a lot of these. Not only do you have windows on the front, but you also have windows on the side, which a lot of these units don't have if they're a middle unit. So a lot of natural light coming into this unit. And then the finished basement, the partially finished basement space as well that you could utilize for a family room, game room, you know, office. There's so many different options there. What I want to do though is not just compare this to showing you what the last six months of sales has been. I want to show those who might actually already own the complex or are considering owning the complex how much the value has changed over the past 10 years. Um, because it's pretty drastic because we remember trying to sell these 10 years ago. It's a little bit more difficult. People weren't as interested. And then the prices just skyrocketed right through the roof. So in looking at 2008, compared to the 11 sales we just had in the last six months, looking at the same window of time in 2008, there's only four sales during that window. The sales prices ranged from, scrolling up here, 269,500 all the way to 320. So the highest sale back in 2008 was 320. Going back to this one, the lowest sale in 2018 was 382. So the highest sale was still $62,000 less than our lowest sale in the past six months. In looking at the low one here, that was 54 Duff Street that sold back in 2008. This one was listed at 269.5 and sold at 269.5. Looking at some of the photos of this one, I mean, it wasn't too too bad. It was updated to an extent. You know, newer cabinets. You know. You get into this living room space, you have this beautiful uh, <laughs> beautiful wood wall. I mean, so there was a little bit of cosmetic updates that somebody might do coming into this unit. You know, this one had the pink and black bathroom that I talked about, laundry in the basement. They, they, they included the unfinished basement in their living area space, so it was 1311 square foot, but that included the unfinished basement, so somebody would still need to finish that basement, and that's probably why it was at that 269.5 price. But then the one that sold at the high end, which was you know, 320,000, six room, two bedroom, one full bath, including a finished basement. You know, nicely updated kitchen. You can see it here, nice updated kitchen, hardwood floors. This one even had the patio with the slider doors coming off the dining area. Going up to the second floor, you know, carpeted in the bedrooms. Ooh, let me Carpet in the bedrooms, then you're scrolling down. You have that same style tile here, but it does have a finished basement. So what's incredible to me is that this one sold for 320,000 as the high, and this one sold for 435,000 more recently as the high, and they're not too dissimilar. I mean, I think that obviously this one had a more updated bathroom with that stand-up shower. The kitchen is similar, you know, white appliances, white cabinets, you know, they do have granite countertops you can see down here. But all in all, that is how much the value has adjusted. In looking at the average sales price in 2018, it was 415,955 for those 11 sales. Back in 2008, it was 292,625. So you're talking about a 42.15% increase in price in just 10 years. So it's a pretty drastic jump, and I think it's important for people who are watching this to realize that you may have some value in your home that you don't expect and you just need to keep on top of knowing what the market is so that when the timing is right for you, you're not surprised by the jumps or the de depreciation that you are always kind of in tune with, with what's going on in the marketplace. Um, if you ever want help with that, reach out to us. We have a lot of tools that we can set you up on that will 
you know, update you on the timetable that you want, not us just sending it to you, you can figure it out, but just contact us if you want. Um, I think that the village condominiums have drastically improved their market marketability, and I hope that this was helpful. I hope you found some value in this, learning about the changes in the market, what's sold recently, but how that also is compared to the, the past, you know, 10 years back. So this was another one of our Watertown Homes daily updates. Hope you found some value. If you did, please share, like, and comment. Spread the word about the Watertown market so that more and more people can become as educated about the market as possible. Have a great day.